Hi guys, uh, God bless you and your family. Good day. Now my video for today is about uh, Spence versus Ugas. Uh, what do I think about the fight? Mm, it's it's. Uh, I'm not gonna say who's gonna win the fight. I'm just gonna say my thoughts on on what's gonna happen in the fight, or probably not not what's gonna happen in the fight, but. Uh, my thoughts on on uh, like the principles behind the fight. Uh, what what's what's in their minds, and it's up to you to uh, to uh, to predict who's gonna win. Okay, so uh, my thoughts. Okay, uh, first it's. It's, it's always been, uh, for me, it's always been if the other guy is a southpaw, I would always go into a, the, the mindset of a southpaw. Okay. So if, because Ugas is a southpaw, we all know. No, I mean, uh, Spence is a southpaw, we all know that, right? So uh, if both fighters are, are of the same almost of the same uh, speed and power size things like that then we can say they are identical but in a sense uh, uh, they have different styles but uh, we'll just stick to the to the to the conclusion that they both have the same power and the same uh, speed okay because if if one has different is more powerful is more is faster then this theory of mine is is not relative to that this theory is just relative to to their, their, their to their size and uh, because of their size they're, they're they're the same because of their power or you might argue that uh, Spence is stronger or Ugas is stronger we cannot tell really right uh, they're, they're almost the same so let's say they're almost the same uh, in th those aspects the size and everything so this principle I always I always uh, I always deal with this uh, when it comes to to southpaws okay so what I'm talking about I'm talking about that uh, uh, I'm gonna explain about the mentality of a Southpaw, and what happens inside the the ring uh, uh, if you fight a southpaw? If there is a southpaw, if one is a southpaw, or probably you can say both is are southpaws. Okay, but let's say just one is a southpaw. So in a in a fight wherein there is a southpaw, a, the the tendency of the southpaw against a a an opponent which is like uh, the same size the same almost the same size almost the same speed almost the same uh, uh, strength is that uh, the tendency of the southpaw is they they're more comfortable fighting an orthodox because they've faced an orthodox a lot of times then on on, than an orthodox facing a southpaw but it depends upon which country they come from, right? Okay, so, but Ugas came from a country where in 50% of the fighters are, are southpaws, 50% are orthodox. Okay, let's go back, okay, let's go back to to being a southpaw. So I'm talking about Spence, okay. So, uh, being a southpaw, they're comfortable uh, fighting uh, an orthodox, and they love it they really do love it being comfortable at that so uh they might they might not be faster they might not be stronger but most most of uh spence's uh spence opponents they are uh, less uh, stronger than he is but let's say they might not be stronger or faster but they they are very comfortable in that position and on the other hand 
an orthodox is not comfortable to to fighting them and th that makes them very happy inside the ring so the the southpaw will feel that will feel that they the the opponent feels awkward about them so they feel that and they are going to really really uh, take advantage of it and it happens always it happens always they're gonna take advantage of the awkwardness and they would f they would really see that the the the, uh, the opponent is struggling okay what if the other guy or the opponent feels comfortable fighting another southpaw that creates problem to a southpaw because uh, uh, let's see the per in the perspective of a, on an orthodox game so an orthodox always face an orthodox and most often the styles and the uh, principles and the uh, textbook whatever it's always they, they there will come a point that they they are the same okay the principles of boxing is the same how you defend yourself how you how you uh, attack whatever because they're both orthodox right and oftentimes because they are they are always on the same you know uh, mentality the same movement the same, it always gets into what you call uh, the patience of a fighter it gets into the mentality so what I'm talking about is an orthodox fighter is always more patient than the South Wall fighters because they, they are always facing someone who is like them and it it goes down to who's more patient you know it's more of a mental game like um, not a mental game it's more of a, an emotional game it's more of, a, of an emotional game with when it comes to these these uh, orthodox boxers when it comes to the south boys more of a mental game how how they would make the other one uncomfortable when it comes to the uh, orthodox it's always an emotional game how to be patient you know and we all know that emotions also is like you know related to the mental status of a person uh, if if an orthodox fighter uh, is used to fighting a or he's comfortable fighting a a softball that means the uh, the comfort zone of the southpaw is is not is is compromised so there are 50 percent of the scenario the comfort zone goes back and forth back and forth so most of the time the southpaw most of the he's the southpaw being used to being comfortable is now taking part of being uncomfortable and the mental game their mental game to make you uncomfortable goes now to their emotional situation how to handle their patience of this one back and forth uh, 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 sometimes it's comfortable sometimes it's uncomfortable whereas with the orthodox who is going to fight the softball he's used to that He's used to that emotional game, that uncomfortness in, inside of him. So this is a testing ground. This fight is a testing ground for Spence. Because I believe in Cuba, which is where Ugas come from, they're mixed Southpaw and Orthodox. And we all know what Ugas did to Manny Pacquiao. He is so comfortable in doing that, in doing in fighting a southpaw, and he's really comfortable in beating, beating uh, Manny Pacquiao, the legendary Manny Pacquiao. So, 
I'm not gonna say that Ugas is gonna win. I'm not gonna say that Spence is gonna win. We all know that uh, Spence is the A side, and we all know that uh, if it if the the fight comes close, uh, the judges are gonna give it to Spence. But is Spence gonna be Spence on that night, or is he gonna find? A hard time adjusting to Ugas or not adjusting to Ugas but is is he gonna be emotionally prepared for this scenario wherein Ugas is is gonna test his patience truly and, and we know we know Spence is a patient fighter but this time is a d different level uh, Ugas is very comfortable in fighting a a a southpaw this will really test uh spence's patience and uh what is he gonna do if 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 uh this the fight goes on into a like a uh a, like a like a different scenario like a time when uh, he's he's fighting in a different playing field now. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna adjust, or is he gonna just continue on doing what he's gonna do? Is he gonna break down? What what is he what is he gonna do? This is a big testing ground for Spence against Ugas, who is who is so comfortable with fighting a softball so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, predict who's gonna win but I think I think that if 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 Spence is able to keep his 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 uh, emotional uh, side uh, at bay or or, or his you know uh, his uh, capacity to uh, to keep his emotions uh, positive he's gonna win he's gonna win because he's he's uh, he's the the a side right and uh, he is a little bit uh, Shall we say more physical? But when it comes to endurance, I give it to Ugas. He can endure. He can endure the the game. So this is gonna be a tough fight for Spence. Spence is gonna be tested, and if if Spence is gonna win this fight, I. I think Spence is gonna win over Crawford as well. That is, if Sp Sp Spence wins this fight convincingly, not, not uh, like a, not a like a giveaway fight, you know, uh, like uh, you know, uh, most of the the judges would give Spence the credit, right? But if he wins this convincingly. I would uh, I would really say Spence is one of the greatest fighters but if he even if he wins this like uh, in a close fight and I, I still would give, would give him the, uh, the the credit if he loses well he's a, he's a good fighter Spence is a good fighter right and if he loses this fight uh, I think Ugas and a Crawford fight is a good matchup. It's a 50-50 matchup. But if Ugas wins this convincingly, then we can say that Ugas is a very, very underrated fighter, right? So it's... Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I cannot predict, really. I really can't predict of uh, what will happen. 
but uh, it's all in my mind okay it's all in my mind that Ugas is gonna win but in my feelings I think uh, I, I'm sorry it's all in my mind that this is a 50-50 fight but in my feelings I think Ugas will win this fight uh, sometimes what you feel is what your subconscious dictates and your subconscious is always uh, smarter than your conscious when it comes to calculating stuff so uh, good day guys see you next time